All right, hey, I am live. Okay, everyone, this is uh, not a gameplay stream. It's a hopefully decently quick informative stream for you. Uh, this is not my here's what I'm doing to help protect you from COVID and the coronavirus stream, but this is in a similar vein. Uh, basically, uh, I wanted to do, you know, whatever I could to kind of help out um, or just make things a little bit easier for everyone in these times. So um, for the time being, I have decided to open up the channel Discord to anyone who wants to join. It's totally free. You can grab the link for the Discord server in the description below. I invite everybody to come out and join us on there and just to hang out, play some games, be a part of the community, stay connected while you are socially distancing yourself and uh, trying to lower that curve. And uh, yeah, I, I really just uh, want to make that available to everyone so that if you do want to jump in and participate, um, hang out, play some games, chat, we talk about TV, we talk about anime, we post memes all the time, we look at new games. Uh, it's a kind of a small community right now, but it's a lot of fun. So uh, I just wanted to extend that invitation to everyone and let you know that you're you're welcome to uh, to come join the Discord and, and hopefully play some games with us. So the rest of this stream is I wanted to give you some recommendations for free to play games that you can play while you're stuck at home and um, specifically ones that we're probably going to be playing or uh, some of us will be participating in on the Discord server. So if you want to either play games with us, you could check out these games, or if you want to talk about these games, because not, not all of them are like co-op multiplayer games, uh, you could still, um, you know, participate and talk about those as well with us in the Discord. So uh, I'm going to jump in here real quick and just kind of show off a few of the different games that I think are worth checking out that are totally free to play. So I'm going to leave a bunch of stuff out that actually does cost money. I just wanted to focus on the free stuff right now. Uh, you know, in case for whatever reason you had to cut back and uh, you, you needed to focus on those free to play games. Um, so real quick, there are a couple that I'm not going to go into any detail about here, but I've played before. I enjoyed. I just don't play now, but I thought they'd be worth checking out. So look these up if you want to. There's Warframe, League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm, DC Universe Online, Guild Wars 2 and Destiny 2. Those are all Pretty cool, pretty fun games that I've played before and I've enjoyed quite a bit. So definitely check those out. And with that said, we're going to jump in and talk about some of these other ones. And I actually have stuff to show off in the background. OK, so first game up and you can kind of see the full preview up here in the tab uh, anyway. <clears throat> the first game up here is going to be Synthetic Arena. So Synthetic Arena is a uh, free to play version of a game that came out uh, that is a heck of a lot of fun. If, if I'm being totally honest, it's pretty fun. It's kind of, it's not a twin stick shooter, but it's like a action based shooter. Um, so you are playing in a kind of uh, isometric third person style. It's all about using weapons efficiently. It's about, uh, timed reloads, and it's very, very tactile. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a co-op game that you can play, I think, with two two players. Uh, you can play online co-op. Uh, this is something I've played quite a bit before, and basically you just face waves and waves of enemies and uh, level up your character. You gain new mods. Uh, you get new guns. You upgrade as you progress through your uh, like session, and then when you're you know you eventually lose to the different waves. Then you have to, you know, start all over again. But there's like outside of game progression as well as in game progression as well. And there goes my dog. Uh, this is a bunch of fun. So I highly recommend it. You can check it out on Steam. Uh, this is something if you want to play, you know, you can hit me up on Discord and let me know. Uh, I'd love to jump on and play some of this with you. All right. Next two games are uh, the. Uh, what are they called? I already forgot the name. Anyway, they are the uh, the auto battlers. That's what they're called. Uh, and there's actually three of them on this list, but the two ones that are like just auto battlers. We've got Team Fight Tactics. This is the League of Legends version. This is a pretty fun game. It's uh, turn based essentially, but the turns are not like strictly take all the time you want. 
basically you're going to recruit champions. You're going to try to recruit multiple champions, upgrade them. You put them out onto a board, kind of like a chess board uh, in different positions, try to line them up. Uh, positioning is really important. And then once uh, everything's ready to go or the timer runs out, then your team fights somebody's el somebody else's team automatically. There's a lot of strategy involved in the choosing of the different units that you're going to play as well as in team fight tactics. You have to think about items and other things like that as well. If you really like the League of Legends champions and lore, this is fun to play and uh, you can get quite a good amount of time out of this game. If you want to play this game, it's actually inside the League of Legends launcher. So you'll need to download that. And then it is in there as a game mode that you can play. So this one is uh, not co-op at all. So this is one you could just hop in and talk about uh, on the Discord channel. And the next game is the same type of game. This is Dota Underlords. So this is Valve's version of the auto battler. It uses um, characters and champions from Dota, which I don't really know a whole lot about. I tried to play Dota, but didn't really get into it very much. But I've enjoyed this one quite a bit. You kind of do the same thing where you're uh, choosing units and trying to upgrade those units, positioning them, and then putting them out so that you can uh, beat your opponent in these auto battlers. One of the really cool things about Dota Underlords is they do have a competitive cooperative mode. So you can play with one other friend and you can kind of cooperate together to recruit units and build your team. And when you do that, you face off against other teams of two people as well. So that does add a little co-op aspect about it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it quite a bit. I'd love to play this with some people uh, if you are interested. All right, so then we're going to move into a couple of card games that I recommend. Uh, you can check out Legends of Runeterra. This is in open beta. This is the card game that Riot Games has recently put out into open beta. All you have to do is visit the website and you can download the launcher for that and get in. Uh, it's a great time to get into the game because it literally only has the base content. They're pretty nice about handing out stuff on a regular basis. So uh, their free to play model is quite friendly to new players and everyone's a new player right now. Uh, there's a cool limited draft mode that you can play as well as the competitive stuff. You can also play against the AI if that's your thing. But again, if you like the League of Legends characters, this is a pretty cool card game to get into. I have a couple videos for this one on the channel if you do want to look into it and check it out further than that. Next, we have Magic the Gathering Arena. You probably heard of Magic the Gathering. This is another free-to-play card game. You'll need to download their launcher in order to play, or I think it's either on the Epic Game Store launcher or coming soon. Uh, so this one, it's it's magic. You know, it's a fun, complex, really deep, uh, in-depth card game. They have an expansion coming up in the next couple of weeks, I believe, that actually looks pretty cool. It's all about big giant beasts and mutating stuff. Uh, looks like quite a bit of fun. This one might be a little bit harder to get into as a free to play player, but when you go through the tutorial, they do give you several free decks that you can play with and kind of grind stuff out. So uh, definitely check this one out if you know this theme or if a much more complex card game is your type of thing. I will say one thing about MTG Arena, is that since it's based on a tabletop card game, they can't do a lot of the cool, fun stuff that digital card games can do because they're restricted to what they can do for paper. But Magic has, you know, like 20 years of history and a lot of complex mechanics and a lot of other synergies and just crazy things that you can do that kind of make up for it. Next up is Hearthstone, and I didn't think I would be recommending this game anytime soon, but they recently announced a ton of changes that are coming into the game with the next expansion pack. There's actually an update coming out next week and an expansion coming out following that. The expansion is Rise, uh, well, it's Ashes of Outlands, so I'm a huge Burning Crusade fanatic, uh, and so this is really cool. They're going back uh, to Outland in Hearthstone, and we're going to have a lot of the uh, the items from Outlands and the bosses and stuff are going to be coming back. So if you're into World of Warcraft and you've been jonesing for that fix here on my channel, that's going to be coming in the form of Hearthstone here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, they're also, for the first time in like five years, 
uh, releasing a brand new playable class in the game as well. This is a really, really good time to come back and try Hearthstone or to try it for the first time. The reason for this is that when the Demon Hunter releases, everyone's getting the class for free as well as the majority of the uh, starter cards for the class as well. So you'll have that right out the gate. You can just play a fully formed Demon Hunter deck right away. But also, if you come back, uh, they're going to be uh, revamping the new and returning player system. So if you uh, log in anytime after today, you're going to be eligible for a free deck of your choice for a class of your choice. Well, it's a it's a free deck for a class of your choice. You don't get to pick a specific deck. You just pick the class. But you're going to be able to come out of the gate with the Demon Hunter class and all their cards and enough stuff to make a deck for that as well as a deck from a class of your choice, a competitive deck that you can play with. Uh, so that's going to be really exciting. We're also just at the start of a new rotation uh, as far as the seasons and stuff goes. So a bunch of uh, old expansions are kind of rotating out of the main format, which means there's less stuff for you to collect. They're also adding in like uh, duplicate card protection, all kinds of cool stuff. I, I didn't think that I would be excited for Hearthstone again for a long time, but they just kind of came out swinging here uh, in the last couple of days, and the game actually looks like it's taking a lot of positive steps. I'm really excited for it. I'm actually really excited to kind of be able to tap into this and make some World of Warcraft related content that's, you know, through the card game and, and just kind of, you know, go back to my memories of Burning Crusade and, uh, you know, do that through the cards and, and kind of talk about stuff that way. So I definitely would recommend checking out Hearthstone here uh, whenever you can. This is available on desktop and mobile. You can install it through the Battle.net uh, launcher. If you're on desktop, mobile, you get it through, you know, your app store. Okay, so moving away from the card games, got a couple of action style games here. So there's Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a game that is free to play and is very much like Diablo. There's not a good, uh, you know, there aren't many, many good uh, screenshots to show off here uh, to kind of show what the game looks like, but uh, it is basically a free to play game version of Diablo. It can be a little overwhelming, a little complicated if you are trying to play it for the first time. So this is a great game. If you've been wanting to check it out, hop into the discord, ask some questions, uh, you know, get some information there about how to play the game. A brand new league just started. Leagues are kind of like their mini expansions. Um, so there's new content to play. A lot of people are starting fresh. Uh, you can also play the old version or the main version of the game as well. Um, so a lot of fun, free to play, lots of complexity. If you like those Diablo style games, this is definitely one to check out. Next up, we have Dauntless. So Dauntless is a free to play game. It's available on the Epic Games launcher, and it is a monster hunter style free to play game. So in this game, you're going to have a character uh, that you are playing, and you're going to be leveling that character up. You're going to be going out. You're going to be uh, tackling new monsters and trying to defeat monsters to collect monster parts and then you're going to use those parts to build new weapons and armor for yourself this is co-op you can play with up to three of your friends is up to four player co-op uh and yeah you just progress through different locales fight different big boss monsters uh, as far as i know they haven't updated the game to include any like small monsters so you're basically just chaining from big monster to big monster but it's actually a lot of fun there's a pretty good amount of weapons and stuff to choose from and uh yeah it's it's really entertaining i played this a uh, decent amount before they went over to the epic game store launcher and i've uh, been wanting sorry about that and i've been wanting to get back in and check this out as well uh, so this is something i would definitely be interested in checking out with you if you wanted to Try it out and play it. I'm also not super far along in it. <laughs> so, um, you know, don't have much catching up to do. Uh, jumping back real quick, uh, Path of Exile is also uh, co-op as well. So you can play this with, I believe, up to three of your friends as well. I think this is four-player co-op. Um, I've played with at least two other people. So, um, yeah, you can play this co-op as well. 
Next up, we have Dungeon Defenders 2. So Dungeon Defenders 2 is a action, third-person action tower-based defense game. So if you played any of the Dungeon Defenders games before, you'll have a good idea of what this is. Also, if you've played games like Orcs Must Die, this is the same kind of thing. So this is a free-to-play game. Uh, there is a ton of content that you can access and play. There are a bunch of different heroes. There are four that you just get for free at the start, and you can kind of unlock new heroes through in-game currency or pay if you want to. Um, but uh, this is a lot of fun. You can play it with up to three of your friends, so four-player co-op. And basically what you do is you play different levels, and during each level, you have a build phase and an, an action phase. During the build phase, you're going to set up towers and defenses to get ready for incoming waves of enemies that are going to attack you. Once you're ready, you have your defenses set up. You hit that action phase. Those waves comes in, come in and your defenses will fight them, attack them. But you also get to fight and attack them as well as your character. And then you just go through those phases over and over again for however many waves are in that particular level. So if you have four waves, you're gonna have four build phases, four action phases. It's a lot of fun. I have well over 100 hours in it. Uh, they kind of have stopped making content for it, which uh, might seem bad, but it's actually kind of nice because there is kind of an end point and there is just a ton of content. You can put hours and hours into this and have a lot of fun. So, yeah. And then finally, the last game that I wanted to mention, one that I've been playing here pretty recently, is The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, so I kind of jumped in this one just to check it out. There's an upcoming expansion that is focused in Skyrim. So most people are familiar with Skyrim by now, even if they're not familiar with the other Elder Scrolls Online stuff that's out there. Um, but Elder Scrolls Online can be played free to play. So you can get in and do a good majority of the content uh, totally free to play. They have a subscription based service as well that kind of unlocks a bunch of DLC and stuff for you. Um, but this is one where you can also jump in and play your own way. So basically the content will scale. And if you want to play with a friend who's a higher level, like everyone gets scaled to uh, match the difficulty level of the enemies. And so you can all play together and have a good time uh, for that. This is a third or first person uh, action MMO. So it plays basically like Skyrim does or an Elder Scrolls or Fallout game does. Um, and there are different classes you can play as and a lot of cool stuff going on in Elder Scrolls Online. The thing that is kind of hooking me in at the moment is they have a player housing system where you can go in and kind of build stuff the way you did in building your settlements and stuff in Fallout 4, which I enjoyed quite a bit. I didn't really do that in Skyrim, even though I know they added that in there. Um, but that's kind of hooking me in and pulling me in. Um, so I've been enjoying this, going to continue to play it. So if you're interested in it at all, you hop on the Discord and you can play with some of us. This is a massively multiplayer online RPG. So there is content, I think, that goes up to 12 people. Uh, those are like the raids. It'd be super cool to get some of those going at some point. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Elder Scrolls Online. It's pretty fun. All right, so that's going to do it for the video. Like I said, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and invite you all to join uh, the Discord server. And I just wanted to let you know that that's available for you. Jump in for free. Description again or the link again is in the description below. So just click on that, hop in. There may be some kinks for me to figure out, you know, for getting people added in, but I really do strongly encourage you to check that out. Also, I've got some stuff going on, like personally, that I got to figure out with uh, work and schedules and stuff. But my goal uh, after I do get that stuff figured out is to try to pop on and do at least a little bit of live streaming on a really regular basis uh, while everybody's stuck at home and hopefully provide a little bit of entertainment for you, whether you can tune in to the live stream or not. Maybe you can watch the VOD later. And uh, yeah, since I do have all that kind of stuff going on, the kind of formatted, constructed content is going to be postponed for the time being, but I am going to try to jump in on those live streams and uh, maybe live stream some of the games that I recommended here today. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope you're doing well. I hope you continue to stay safe. And, uh, yeah, if you want to jump into the discord server, 
have some fun, stay connected with a fun, nerdy community, please do so. I hope you're having fun, whatever it is that you're doing, which for most of us is just staying in our house. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next video.